week eight of high school football action continues tonight with a full slate of games, including a big region one six a matchup at Farragut High School. WAT six on your side reporter Kellyanne Stitz live on the sidelines at Farragut tonight has more on what's on the line. Kellyanne. Well, though, a region title as both teams are coming in tonight undefeated in the region and whoever wins tonight will likely win the region while the other one will compete to keep second place. But it won't be easy for the Admirals to get this win. Dobbins Bennett is coming here undefeated and with a perfect record on the season and a veteran team who is physical and can eat up the clock if you don't stop them. They're also coming off of a shutout against their last opponent. And head coach Eddie Courtney says the key to breaking through their defense is running a balanced attack tonight and winning play at the line of scrimmage. The biggest thing about our football team the improvement starts at our offensive line. We've been able to run the ball better right now and that helps us open up our passing game. Dawson Moore quarterback has certainly each week got much better and so uh, he's getting the ball to the right guy, you know, not forcing things and so that's what we got to do tonight. You know, we can't have turnovers not to have a chance to win this game. On defense, the Admirals will be tasked with limiting returning quarterback Zane Whiteson, who was the region, the 6A Region 1 MVP last season. And also a huge wide receiver who's 6'4 and 200 pounds, Braden Hurst, who is coming off of a standout performance last week with three touchdowns. It'll be important for Farragut's defense to play man coverage on the outside as Dobbins Bennett will try to get the ball to him. And also tonight, which I'll have more coming up at 6. Eddie Courtney will be back on the sidelines again. I'll have more on him coming up at six, Bo. All right, Kellyanne, thank you very much. And again, just a reminder, make sure to tune in tonight after the NBA Finals for Friday Frenzy. We're going to have highlights, post-game reaction from this game, mm -hmm. and several others throughout East Tennessee. We'll see you then.